So, you like looking at the ceiling? Well, actually, that's a wing. It's not wrong. Let's turn it around. And if I'm real lucky, well, <laughs> you guys are real lucky. Oh, I don't know about luck. If you're watching one of my videos, anything's a possibility. But it seems to be a problem here. So, let's see. I'm going to try to keep this out of the way. But yet, yeah, have it so I have some light on the subject, maybe in front of me. Instead of in front of you. This way we can both see what I'm doing, hopefully. Yes, the red wire is broke. So what other ones are broke? Well, you know what? Why even bother? I hate doing this to this because this wire is so damn thin. And where's my strippers? Where are my strippers going? I know where they are. Put that down there for a minute. I used them over here. Got to return them. Uh, too bad it wasn't a little bit longer because I could have just put an end on this and I wouldn't have to worry about it. But now, that's not going to happen. Let's get the shield over here. Here. What the hell is wrong with my fingers lately? <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Are you guys seeing? Any of this. It's hard for me to tell because yeah, okay. I can't see the screen. That's what I don't like about this camera. Okay, so what I need to do is raise this up a little bit. There we go. Strip these all down just a hair. Make sure that I keep the ends clean, because if I don't, and what I mean by is if I strip it and a piece of the casing stays here, it may interfere with my next strip, and when the wire is this thin, it can definitely cause a problem by taking too much wire. Too much wire. All right, now here's what I got to do. I really want to use a heat shrink. Uh, because I'll never get all that taped. <clears throat> I don't have any liquid tape, which would be ideal at this point, or do I? No, I don't. So I'm going to have to take this down a ways because of the heat shrink. Now this outer piece, what that does is it helps keep any interference from getting in through the casing into these wires. So it kind of helps give you a 
a better picture, cleaner audio. Now this is a real cheap camera. I mean really cheap. Now I'm only going to be using the ends like I did on the other one, so it's not that I'm going to be using any more wire. It's just that I need enough room for the heat shrink to, to move out of the way. Otherwise, it'll shrink while I'm soldering, and I can't have that. Okay. Got a couple strays. That one's a little too long. This one's not the even. I haven't got my uh, good glasses on, so it makes it kind of difficult. Let's get this one in here. And this one in here. I do have this if I do need it. I don't think I'm going to need it right now, but I'm going to loosen that up just in case. Yeah. Okay. All right, now let me find a little solder paste. Don't need a lot because there's not a lot of wire here. I just need enough to help it flow because I don't want to melt through this wire either. So I want the solder to do its job fast. There we go. Now, before I did that, I should have done this. The heat shrink. Uh, I'm going to have to do this. There should be enough in here to do what it needs to do. Oh, there's a red one I haven't hit yet. Let me get the red one. Get it now, so I have to worry about it later. See, now I can put these, because I made the wire long enough, I can put the heat shrink on. And get it a safe distance away from the heat. Otherwise, it'll just shrink up on me, and I'll never be able to use it, because it'll be uh, shrunk, so I couldn't move it. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll put a large piece over the whole thing. My uh, depth is off a little bit because I got my wrong glasses on. Remember I was telling you if you have uh, 
part of the case on it, it could interfere, and that's what it did. It interfered with my uh, my stripping, and it took off a little too much wire. Okay, I need how many more? Two more. That's another one. Come half on go. Let me get out of there. The magnifying glass is really screwing me up. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell how small these wires actually are. But they're small. And this thing that I'm putting the heat shrink over them is just as small. All right, now I need one a little bit bigger. Uh, I would prefer one longer. Let me see. The only reason why I'm doing this is because uh, normally I wouldn't use this on this. You know what? I'm not going to. It's going to be a little bit more work, but I'd rather not use this on this. This isn't good enough to use it on. Oh. You see that? I just took that right off. Just by touching it with my hand. I can actually do this better with my, uh, magnifying glass out of the way. Let me look over it. There. Okay. So now I need to put a couple of these on and slide them down. Down, down, down. Why there's quite a few here as far as wires is because there's a volume control on the microphone, on the camera. So that should be enough. Put this back up here. Separate these. I think I'm just going to do one at a time. Because, uh, I think it's just going to fit me better, so I don't have to worry about them coming undone after I've done them. Meaning the wrapping before I slaughter. Because there's not much holding that on right now. I heard a Radio Shack opened up around here. Now, Radio Shack, not as it used to be, but I guess the franchise is kind of open now. So now I can slide this over. Come on, get that little piece out of the way. That little piece is going to drive me nuts. See it? That right there? Now, get out old Betsy. Well, let me see. Maybe this one won't be quite as bad. This one's a little bit more pinpoint. Yeah. See, now that'll help hold that. So now I can go on. So let's do the yellow.
what I'm trying to do here is wrap them together end to end but because there's so little wire they didn't want to have a lot of wire here uh, making it a little tough if it was a little bit longer it would probably work a little better it probably wouldn't make too much of a difference but Yeller is done. That should be dry enough or cool enough to where I can get this up over it. And let's do a flame on here. I can't do the flame with the magnifying glass because it just doesn't look right and I just can't seem to get it. Alright, let's do the blue. So yellow to yellow, green to green, blue to blue. Oh, get down there. I didn't tell you you can get off. A little sneakier. There's always a troublemaker in one of the bunches here. There's another one. Come on, you're doing your part. Instead of complaining about it, do it right. See, these wires are so thin, if I was to start just doing another one, it's a good possibility that that would break. So by putting the heat shrink over it, it just adds a little bit more of a reinforcement for me. I still have to be careful, but I don't have to be real careful. Apparently that white one wants to get off, so we're going to get this one done so we don't have to worry about it. Because it doesn't want to play nice. I didn't think so. You can just tell sometimes. I don't think you can hear the conversation that's going on on the radio behind me, but it's another one of those real intelligent conversations. Now, let me see if I can trim this one a little bit, because this is going to be difficult. Okay. Oops, it's that one. I really don't mind doing this, however, when it's this small, it starts, I don't, I like the tedious work, but not when I have a hundred other things I need to do. You know, and this is just getting in my way, so I got to get it done. <laughs> 